All right, all right. Shalom. I want to begin this lesson by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings unto the elect. This is the brother you want to coming from the great millstone salt, great millstone West Palm Camp. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashma Shah. A hey, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, man. All right, and in this lesson, I want to go into, hey, man, in this great thing of ours, it is truth. Yahweh Bashma Shah is not dealing with any slothfulness, man. He is not dealing with any slothfulness, especially concerning, all right, a um, this ministry, man. Okay, there is a certain standard that we have to be uh, upholded to. Okay, we have to be upheld to a certain standard, Salakia. Okay, so you're supposed to be doing what? You're supposed to be doing a hey, what the scriptures commands you to do. Okay. You know, it speaks about daily, you know, edification, okay? And we understand we are in Babylon and we in captivity, man. But at the end of the day, we have to make sure that we take care of a hey, what we have to first, man, okay? And hey, what does it say? It says to seek the kingdom first, man. And I'll probably begin with that, all right? Um, what is that? The book of Matthew, the book of Matthew, the sixth chapter. Okay. All right. Seek the kingdom first. Uh, Matthew, the sixth chapter and the 33rd verse. But seek ye first the kingdom of the most high and all his righteousness and all of these things shall be added unto you. So the first thing that we have to be doing is seeking the kingdom. Okay. Which is really seeking your how about Shemal Shah, man. Not only, not only that. But in the book of Baruch, man, it says in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, man. The land of the cap, the land of our captivity is speaking about us being here in Babylon, the great. And Yahweh Basham al Shah, all right, through the Holy Spirit, and will put that remembrance, okay? You know, it says to seek him 10 times more, man, okay? So I'm saying all that to say, that a Yahweh Basham al Shah ain't dealing with no slothfulness, man. All right, he's not dealing with no lukewarm individuals, man. Okay, um, and I want to get Matthew the 13th chapter, man. All right, just a hey, to show you how precious this truth is, man. You know, and hey, I'm speaking to myself first and foremost, man. Okay, because here in Babylon the Great, a um, this captivity. Even though it's not um, physical, but really more mental, okay? It's a, a, every day is a battle, man. Every day is a battle in the mind. Every, bit, every day is a battle in the flesh. Hey, but what do we have to do? We have to overcome it, man. All right? And we're going to be the, the, the new, okay, the new rulers, the new set uh, gov governing body for the kingdom to come. Which is going to be here on earth, man. You know, and we have to at least make an attempt, okay, to hey, stay on top of ourselves, man. All right, oh, I'm not going to do a lesson today. Nah, man. You know, it says we can never go far enough, man. Never go far enough. Our righteousness is as filthy rags, man. So at the end of the day, am I saying that you're going to be in the spirit? Uh, 24 7 all day every day nah you still in the flesh but at the end of the day you want to be sowing to things that's to the spirit man you want to be sowing to the spirit man not to the flesh man all right so i want to um i'm going to bring this piece up out to show you you know how valuable okay how precious this wisdom and knowledge is man so this is the book of matthew the 13th chapter and I want to get, I think it's beginning at the 44th verse, right? Well, let's start at verse 43. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their father who hath ears to hear, let him, let him hear. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like 
unto a treasure in the field, which when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof, goeth and selleth all that he hath, and buyeth that field, man. You see? So, hey, amen, we found this truth, right? Yahweh Shah has um, to put the spirit upon us to find this truth. Not only find this truth, hey, but to understand it, man. Okay? And Lord willing, you know, we can have a chance of salvation, man. From the said, from the said uh, destruction, the said perils that's about to happen to this place, right? Okay? So it says that he um, goeth and selleth all that he hath and buyeth that field, man. And so this is what this truth, that's the comparison of, that. this is the comparison, okay, of this truth, man. There's nothing that you could compare it to, man. There's nothing like it, okay? So that's why, again, you know, and I'm going to end off on there. When you go into the book of Revelation, all right, Revelation chapter 3. Let me see. When you go to Revelation, the third chapter, it's starting at the 15th verse, and this is written in red, right? This is written in red, meaning this is all, these are the words from our Lord, Yahweh Shah, okay? I know thy works, that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth okay so you how about your mouth shot would rather you to be cold man okay he would rather you to be ice cold man than you playing the fence man playing the middle man and again all right again the heavenly father yahweh and his only begotten son yahweh shah is not dealing with slothfulness man Okay, there's no room for slothfulness in this truth, man. Okay, hey, what did the elder apostle Tahar say, man? Hey, man, we are serving the creator of the universe, man. All right, the creator of the universe, man. Meaning, <laughs> you know, <laughs> what, what does um, Al Yashadia mean, man? You know, all knowing, demon like power, man. Yahweh Bashim al Shah could do terrible things to you if you're not being serious in this truth, man. Okay? If you're taking this thing for granted, all right? If you uh, cater into your woman more, man. If you cater into your job more, cater into your family more, man. Hey, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah? All right? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah is what, man? Is very jealous, man. Okay? So, you want to be doing what, man? You want to be sowing to the spirit rather than sowing into the flesh, man. Because, you know, and let me grab uh, that scripture, man, where it goes to the cares of this world, man. You don't want to get caught up in the cares of this world, man. You know, it tells you in the book of Corinthians, the first chapter, um, uh, first Corinthians, the seventh chapter and the 30, the 31st verse, it says that the fashions of this world passeth away, man. So how you going to get caught up in some shit? And hey, that's going to be done away with, man. You know, and that's speaking about Esau's government, man. Esau's rulership. There's an end to that. All right. And all the shit that we see. With our eyes are temporal, man. Okay? As far as these cars, these clothes, okay, this money, all this shit is temporal, man. Alright? You got Sir and Jake out here chasing a bag, man. They chasing a bag, man. What type of bullshit is that, man? And excuse my French, but all that shit doesn't matter, man. The, the scripture speak it says, yeah, money is a defense. Hey, but at the end of the day, Yahweh Bashimal Shah is the one that makes you that, that can allow you to become rich. He's the one that can allow you to be poor. And that's why it says to give me poverty nor riches. Okay? Matter of fact, let me see if I can get that, man. I know that's in the book of Proverbs. 
And I'm not going to make this lesson too long, but this was just something that was on my spirit I wanted to grab, man, because, and again, you know, I know certain brothers, okay, no, that's not it, I think it's vice versa, but, you know, I understand being here in captivity, man, all right, being here in Babylon the Great, hey, you know, you may not have money, you may not have the car that you want, you know, you may not have the woman that you want. Hey, man, but you got this truth, man. Okay, and there's nothing that can compare to this truth, man. There's nothing, you know, just like uh, Matthew the 13th chapter says, man. Okay, there's nothing that you could uh, put in the balance or weigh in the balance, all right, that's going to compare to this truth that we have been given, man. And that's why it says, uh, I'm going to grab this and I'm going to get told in the fourth chapter. All right. I can't believe it. You know, I'm doing a uh, slot of Proverbs 30 and 8. All right. That was not the one I was thinking of doing it in transit. But this is Proverbs the 30th chapter in the 8th verse. Remove far from me vanity and lies, man. Okay. Vanity. That's <laughs> vanity being what, man? Vanity being fucking money. You know, the illusion. All right. The illusion of an American dream, man. The illusion of, you know, you having a couple dollars in your pocket and now you feel stable. Nah, man. This wisdom, knowledge, and understanding is going to be the stability of our times pursuing the Isaiah the 33rd chapter in the 6th verse, man. Okay? So, re remove far from me vanity and lies, man. Okay? And lies is what, man? You know, through Esau, Edom, you know, Esau Edom, which is really the heavenly father, you know, he has uh, deceived, not only as he deceived, but he put out that delusion, okay? <laughs> you know, you got certain individuals that think just because they got a few coins in their pocket, you know, they doing something out here, man. But nevertheless, let me finish this verse. I don't want to ramble. Proverbs, the 30th chapter and the 8th verse, remove far from me vanity and lies, and give me neither poverty nor riches. Feed me with food convenient for me, and that's the spirit that we need to be in, man. You know, being in the, the spirit of contentment, all right, being in the spirit of you know, not wanting too much, man. Okay, because what is Tobit the fourth chapter says, all right, uh, Tobit chapter 4, verse 21, it says, And fear not, my son, that we are made poor. For thou has much wealth, if thou fear the Most High, and depart from sin, and do that which is pleasing in his sight, man. Okay, so Yahweh Bashmal Shah has put us in this state, man. He's put us in this quote-unquote poor state, you know. And this is not, uh, uh, you know, this is not figuratively speaking, because, hey, you got certain brothers, hey, that may have, you know. A shekel or two, <laughs> all right. Hey, but they're, they're hey, they're diligent, okay. So it's not money, all right. It's the spirit that you're coming in when you have the money, right? Hey, but like the verse says, man, hey, that has much wealth if thou fear the Most High, all right. Depart from sin and do which is pleasing in His sight, man. And what is pleasing in the sight of Yahweh Bashem al Shah, according to the scriptures, man? You doing your lessons, man. Not only you doing your lessons, hey, but you staying into you staying in the spirit. Alright, feeding your sheep. Okay? And your sheep waiting on you, man, to make your lesson. The sheep is waiting on you, you know, to get fed, man. And what type of uh shepherd are you? Okay, if you leave your sheep abandoned, man, even for, you know, two days, three days, man, they waiting to get edified, man. All right. Now, this is the last. Um, I'm going to end off on this because I didn't mean to make this lesson too long. But, you know, I did want to grab this and let me see. Uh, Salakia. Okay, so that that is what I wanted. 
Yeah, that is what I wanted. It's a lock, you know. I ain't mean to show y'all all that, but I'm going to upload this thing raw. And, you know, Lord willing, it is edifying. But, um, this is First Timothy, the sixth chapter. And I'm going to start at verse eight. Or I'm start at verse six. But godliness, which is holiness, with contentment is great gain, man. Hey, so you being all right content. Like the scripture said, man, it hey, has great gain according to the eyes of Yahweh by Shemal Shah, right? Okay, verse seven. For we brought, for we brought nothing into this world, and it is certain we can carry nothing out. And having food and raiment, let us there, let us be there with content, and they that will be rich fall into a temptation and a snare and into many foolish and hurtful lusts which drown men in destruction and perdition you see so if you in the spirit of chasing a bag if you in the spirit of always focus on bread man all right it says what hey that hey, you gonna fall into that snare fall into temptation right for the love of money is the root of all evil okay so it's not about having shekels man it's about the spirit that you're coming after the shekels with, man. All right. It says, which have coveted after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. OK, so you, hey, you don't want to be in that spirit because like the scripture says, they have erred from the faith. Err means to, hey, man, fall away. Matter of fact, let's get in the blue letter and I'm going to close this thing out, man. You know, Lord willing, it's edifying. Okay. So lock you. Let's see, air. Let's get that. No, that's not it. <laughs> Ca to cause to go astray, to lead away from the truth to error. To go astray, stray away from. And the word is. Strong's G 635. Apoplanao. Apoplanao. That's right, man. It says to lead away from the truth to error. So, like the verse says, man. Okay, they have error from the faith. So, you know, if you chasing after that bag, Yahweh Shemal Shah could take his spirit away from you, man. And let's get uh, much given required all right luke chapter 12 verse 48 i'm gonna just get the point but he that knew not and did commit things worthy of stripes shall be beaten with few stripes for unto whom so for unto whomsoever much is given of him shall be much required and to whom men have committed much of him they will ask the more man so like the verse says okay for unto whomsoever much is given of him be much of him shall be much required, man. So hey, you putting your hand to this plow, all right, you have an obligation, all right? You know, what does it say? To occupy until I come? Occupy is going to your occupation, man. Your business. Okay? So hey, we gotta tread lightly in this truth, man. Because hey, how, as you how Bashamal Shah gave it unto us. Hey, man, he could take it away. So, hey, and this message to myself first and foremost, man. So, brothers, man, make sure, you know, y'all focusing on what's the what the prize is, man. Make sure y'all doing y'all lessons, man. Make sure y'all staying in the spirit. Speaking again to myself first and foremost, man. You know, so, hey, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rekagodash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone everywhere. Peace and blessing to the elect. Till next time, Shalom, Baba Ball, call me